did the last class. I'm going to run through this really fast, so bear with me. If uh, last class we talked about automatic roofs, and oops, and again the the process you want to keep in mind when you're going through a plan, especially if you're newer to chief, is save your plan, lay out your exterior walls accurately as you're adding automatic roofs, add the walls that separate the different platforms. So again, the sooner you get your platforms and ceiling heights and everything adjusted properly, the the quicker it will go. The, the more automatic roof you'll get right. Get your platform thicknesses adjusted. Work with the automatic roofs to a certain point and then you're going to stop using that function altogether in your plan and do everything manually. All right, and that's what we're going to talk about right now, working with the manual roof tools. And again, once you get the roof on, once you get your structure in place and you get the roof on, and I understand that you can't always do that up front in the job, but the more of it you can get done up front, the easier it is for the rest of the job. And then add your stairs and other details. So some of the things we're going to talk about today, review, uh, let's review how the auto roof tools work. We'll go through that really fast. Review the tools that we use to edit roof planes. Okay, there are certain tools that you're going to use quite a bit when you're when you're creating these manual roof planes, and I want to talk about those. What are the parts of a roof plane? It's important to understand the different parts, the different things that Chief looks for in a roof plane. And adjusting, then we're going to talk about how to adjust roof planes in 3D, reshaping roof planes with the CAD tools, and we've already talked quite a bit about the CAD tools, so I'm going to go through that pretty quickly. Adding roof planes manually, how do you, you know, we can add them automatic, but there's many times you need to add your own roof planes. Every roof plane starts with a baseline. Then I'm going to talk about the six places that you use the roof join tool. How we create ceiling planes, vaulted ceilings. And we're going to take and we're going to take what we discuss in these parts and we're going to put it all together. We're going to take and, and start working on a plan and, and uh, use all the different tools together. And I'll show you just how quickly you can do things with the tools. As part of that, we'll create a story and a half. We'll add some dormers. We'll do some different things there. So, 